everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames, and we're back with another banging video. Yes, honey, our girl, Kimmy Cakes, is currently in Tokyo, Japan with her son, Saint. Kim is like, Kanye, don't you remember you've got a son? You're out here living your best life with your best wife? Okay, I'm going to show up at your doorstep with your son. See how you like that, mister. <laughs> Just kidding. But at first glance, if you hear that Kim and Saint is in Tokyo, Japan, wouldn't that be one of the first thing that comes to mind? Definitely. But um, that's not why they're in Tokyo, Japan. But what a coincidence. I know that Kim would have showed up in Tokyo, whether she had an excuse or not, because there's one thing about Kimmy Cakes, you know, and that is she is a Kanye stalker. This woman is going to stalk this man until the end of time. If she's not going to have a crying marathon about him, she's going to ensure that she copies his designs or she tells some lie about him. But whatever it is, she's like, okay, I'm the former Mrs. West. I've got four West kids. I can never go broke. I can never go irrelevant once I have Kanye. You know, that's Kim's attitude, right? Now, why is Kim in Tokyo, Japan, um, the same time as Ye and Bianca? Well, just to get you guys up to speed in case you're new, Kanye and his wife, Bianca Sensori West, they're out there in Tokyo, Japan with his Yeezy team. They're currently working on a few projects because we can see his Yeezy team. Yesterday, there was a um, snippet of him meeting with the Yeezy team. And based on what Ice Cube has told us and what we are seeing, um, Adidas is still trying to take Yeezy's money, not just his money, also to his designs. And Ye has been it. They have a target, right? So the target, based on what I am, you know, looking at, based on the research that I've conducted, the target is to hit him with at least three to five lawsuits monthly. And what they do is to make these lawsuits so laughable to prove to him that they've got power and they're laced with lies. And if you're not the kind of person that look into facts over fiction, you would be warped into the lies. Um, the reason for the lawsuit is just so as to make him exhaust his funds. As he told us, Ari Emanuel is going to have people consistently suing him in an effort to ensure that he goes broke. And it's a unified effort. It's not just Ari Emanuel. It's like a group of people, right? When he told us that for many people, it seemed as though he was just, you know, having an episode. But as time passes... Based on the actual lawsuits that we saw coming forth and the many lies and the nonsense in them, you can identify that he was speaking facts. Fast forward to now, Ye has grown tired and exhausted of that. He's trying to heal and Tokyo, Japan has always been Ye's second home. Um, when you look at the history of Tokyo, Japan, it's known to offer a healing retreat. Life is calmer, much more peaceful. And when it comes to health, wellness, it's that go-to place for many, for many people across the world. So Ye, and his, Ye was like, you know what, guys? We're going to go to Tokyo, Japan, because, I mean, if you have your job and your job is still going to pay you to live in a country, they may have some housing situation sorted out. Like, who the heck would want to leave the United States or their current situation for that matter for Tokyo? Like, hello, I would. So his easy team is out there with him as well. And it's not just a vacation. They're working on their projects. It is business as per usual, right? So, you know, we've been getting sight scenes here and there of him and his team. So where does Kim come into all of this Tokyo, Japan, you know, thing? Well, if you guys remember, it was a few months ago that Kim Kardashian said that she's doing a secret documentary before that was announced, I said to you guys, once Ye is doing a documentary, of course, Kim is going to do a documentary because she is that incubus succubus spirit 
that, you know, latches on and feeds off people. And when she realized that Ye is not someone that you can cancel because all of Ye's success is surrounded by his talent. So Kim realized that and she was like, oh shit, I still need this man because I'm not making the money that I used to. I'm not getting the clout or attention as I once used to. So she was like, okay guys, don't judge me for working out in my Yeezy slides. So she came around to start it, you know, accepting and promoting the brand somewhat because she realized that the little shit show that she did with Balenciaga and Adidas did not work out in any of them favor. They realized that they all needed yay. So Kim is now, you know, being that lint liquor. At this point, she's a lint liquor because initially she said that she refused to be a part of his cleanup crew. But here she is crying and talking about him, you know, capitalizing off every little ounce of opportunity that has to do with yay. So what are you? You're a lint liquor, right? Taking up all that microscopic residue that you can to make something out of. That's Kim Lintlicker. So um, when she said that she's doing a secret documentary, definitely it came as no surprise. The secret documentary is just her promoting herself to be the best mom ever, taking saints to all of these soccer games, this, these international leagues, you know, these playoffs. And she wants to prove that Ye is not in the picture because the aim is, always to make herself look like, you know, she's doing everything all by herself with very little to no effort from yay, right? That's her aim. So we saw where she was in UK. She was in the UK. Um, that series was dubbed as Swollen in Paris. You guys can go back and check out those videos on Kim and Saint being in the UK, Kim looking swollen. So now, um, you know, there's a game in Tokyo, Japan. Pardon my arrogance, I'm not a football fan, right? But we see them hashtagging Neymar so far. So you know that she's there with Saints. They've hit up a few places, you know, sightseeing. Very beautiful, if you ask me. There's one thing about Kim that I truly admire, right? And that's the fact that she goes above and beyond to give her kids the best experience possible even if she's going to use it to her advantage. At the end of the day, you kind of take away from the fact that she definitely goes above and beyond to give her kids the, be the best goddamn experience money can buy. So kudos to Kim on that. So she's in Tokyo, Japan with Saints on another football tour. This is going to be a part of her documentary again. You know, we're going to see a lot of Saints, Saints embracing his favorite players, his favorite players embracing him, showing him love. And with that child's mom and dad, he's just always going to be front row and center. But what I find very interesting through all of this is the fact that Kim has to put up a cross. We know that a cross is a very huge symbol to many people worldwide. But since of lately, we have been seeing where Ye has been incorporating it a lot in his designs. We've been seeing the Kardashian Jenners wearing a lot of cross as well. So I believe that Kim is also trolling at the same time, using the cross to say, hey, I'm here. I'm going to meet up with Kanye. And there's one thing we know for a fact. Ain't no way Saint is going to be in Tokyo, Japan and not meet up with his dad, Ye, unless it's a triggering situation for both Kim and Ye, and both adults decide it would not be best. But even so, I can see them, you know, getting a third party involved, like a concierge service, right? Because these people are celebrities. They've got their money like that, right? So I can see both parties getting a concierge service um, involved, and then Kim would have Saint um, escorted to meet his father, Ye, and they would sit, have a talk and stuff. Because um, one thing we cannot dismiss or deny is that Ye's kids, they do mean a lot to him and he gets involved as much as he can. I also believe that um, mentally, Ye is still going through a lot. I also believe that he's working on himself and he's working on 
building back his business. So he's like, you know what? I know that I am not the best father at the moment, but I have to rebuild myself, my brand, and my kid's legacy because he has always spoken about Yeezy being his kid's legacy. And I believe what he's focusing on is not wanting to look like a loser in front of his kids. And he said that, you know, him coming back, putting in all of this hard work, it's not just only for him. I believe it is for his kids first and then him after. And to be honest, many of us as parents, we understand this level of sacrifice, being absent from the child. And people think that you don't want to be there, but if only they know that you're making an executive decision, which you're just saying that, I know this is going to pay off later. I know my kids are going to understand this as they go, get older. And I honestly believe that this is what Yi is doing in this case, making an executive decision. And as time passes, we're going to see more of him and the kids. But hey, that's all I have to say about that in this video. Let me know what are your thoughts about Kim and Saint being out there in Tokyo, Japan. Do you think that they will have like a concierge service that takes Saint to meet with his father, Ye? Or do you think that Ye and Bianca will meet up with Kim and Saint at the football game? Because that is also a possibility. Bianca does an old any grudge. She's a beautiful person and she has always been very supportive of Ye and his co-parenting situation. So I want to hear from you guys. This is your time to come in and knock it right out the park, okay? So let's keep the vibe going and give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.